Hello guys, we'll talk about the another example on crypto arithmetic today. So this is a four digit number LIRL, which is being added to another four digit number KIRL. And on addition, I get a five digit number as the answer. Again, the same clause that every alphabet used over here holds distinct digit value. Okay. Now the first thing is one way of looking at the question is that a four digit number is being added to another four digit number to give you a five digit number as an answer. But another way of understanding is that it's eventually a single digit number is getting added to another single digit number to give you the answer. So one of the cases possible is that it's two plus three, five, something like this is happening or something like this is happening, nine plus nine. So there's a difference between the, in these two cases. In this case, it's zero five. That means the flow of carryover is zero. In this case, the flow of the carryover is one. So even if I get one carryover from behind, the maximum it can result is 19. So what do I want to say is that one is that the carryover, if there's a carryover, there are only two possibilities. It's the carryover, if there's no carryover, that's zero or one. That clearly also says that this L needs to be one. Why? Because it shows that from this, in this addition, eventually, that there's a flow of carryover from this place to this place. And as discussed, if there's a flow of carryover, it has to be one. It needs to be one. So this means this L will be one. L, one, L, one, one, one. So that also gives me the clue that A is two. And there is no flow of carryover from this place to this place. Correct. Now, 1 plus k, I need to get a two digit number. What all possibilities for k are there? 1, that k becomes 9. 9 plus 1. And there's a flow of carryover. Let's take all the cases. In that case, what will happen? 9 plus 1 plus the carryover 1 will give me 11. 11 means this m will be 1, which is not possible. So this case is eliminated. The other case is k is 9. And there's a carryover 0 from behind. So 9 plus the carryover 0 would result into 10. The value of m will, will be 0. That's possible. The other possibility is k is 8 and there's a carryover 1 from behind. Okay. So 8 plus 1 plus the carryover 1 will result into 10. So in both the cases, if I pick any of them, I don't have a choice. I don't know whether k will be resulting into 9 or 8. But that means the value of m is any which way 0, irrespective of the choices. That depends obviously upon i plus i calculation. Whether i plus i would result into something more than 10 and would throw a carryover or not. Okay. So if k becomes 9, that means this will be 9 and this will be 8. And if k becomes 8, that means this will be 8 and this will be 7. So there will be no flow of carryover from this place to this place. So it all depends upon i now. Whether i plus i would result into a two digit number or a single digit number. So that would eventually depend, on, depend upon whether i is greater than equal to 5 or less than 5. So I'm picking the wrong one case, wrong case first. So I'm picking i to be greater than equal to 5. I cannot hold the value 5 because 5 plus 5 would result into 0. So which any which was m has already taken. So I cannot be 5. Let's talk about 6. 6 plus 6, 2. 2 since e has already taken. 2, that means 6 is also gone, 7, 7 plus 7, 4, carry over 1, 8, 8, 7, now over here 7 and 7, i and r are contradicting each other, so a cannot have the value, i cannot have the value 7, next is 8, 8 any which way i cannot pick, because either of r or k will be 8, okay, so 8 is also gone, let's take 9, so if I take 9, 9, 9, 8, so either 9 or 8, k will I have the value 9 or 8. So I cannot have take the value 9 also. So I need to be less than 5, that's for sure. I cannot take the value 1, 0 or 2. So the only choices left for i are 3 or 4. So if I pick, take 4 over here, 4 plus 4, 8. 8 means no flow of carryover, that means k will be 9. 9 means 9 and this will be 8. 
so that's not possible because O you are also trying to get it as 8 and R also you are saying to be 8. So I equal to 4 is not possible, I equal to 3, let's try it out, 3 plus 3 is 6, no flow of carryover means K is 9 and K is 9 that means R is 8, so our final answer is 1, 3, 8, 1, plus 9, 3, 1, 1, 1, 0, 6, 9, 2. So we will take up the next example in the next session.